new tonight, a Tappahannock family finally getting some answers in a three decades old missing persons case. But the more information Emmeline Gray's family gets, the more questions they have. 8 News reporter Allison Williams is live in our digital center after speaking with Gray's brother. Allison, how is he doing? Well, Heather, he's frustrated and still has so many unanswered questions. Back in 2022, 8 News interviewed Michael Gray, trying to figure out what happened to his sister Emmeline after she disappeared in Caroline County 33 years ago. It was so bad. So bad. Me and my little sister were real close. Like real brothers and sisters should be. February 25th, 1991. That's when the Washington, D.C. You know, Metropolitan Police Department you know, found 29 year old Emmeline Gray's body in a garage on MLK Avenue. Deceased. But her family back in Caroline County didn't know that until just this week when Michael Gray says a fresh set of detective eyes decades later led to a call to the Sussex County Sheriff's Office and ultimately to the family. What have the past 34 years been like not knowing where she is, what happened to her? It leaves me with more questions like um, how did she die? Was she put there at the house in the garage? Police say they couldn't determine a cause of death and told Gray that they don't suspect there was foul play. Gray says it wasn't unusual for her to go to D.C. She had friends there and she liked to visit. He's been searching for his sister the whole time, trying to get answers from local police. He says he and the D.C. detective compared photos to determine it's Emmeline's body. Her ears, I always remember her ears. It looks like my sister. Her body was cremated years ago, and Gray says he's not sure the police will be able to find her ashes. Why is my sister's ashes that now? She left behind four children who've all had to grow up without their mom. I'm not closing nothing till I find the, the perfect result that I need to know what happened to my sister. This is not over yet. It's not over yet. They got to give us more answers than that. The detective in D.C. told the Grays to give him a few more weeks to see if there's more information he can get from the medical examiner. The family does plan to hold a memorial soon and is continuing their fight to get more answers. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Allison Williams, 8 News.